this is another diesel engine tip I'd like to share with you. This applies to most of those old four and five cylinder diesels up to 1985. But I had this engine out. It's, of course, it's a lot easier to do this when the engine's out of the car. But I wanted to rebuild the turbo, and I got to thinking, you know, if I'm going to do that, I better check this gasket here. The manifold gasket on these old diesel engines does fail, and you won't really know it until you start maybe seeing a little bit of oil forming underneath the cylinder head there. That's a good sign that you're getting a little bit of oil leaking out of the gasket. And of course, like here, you're going to see maybe some exhaust stains. You may even start to get a little exhaust noise when this gets really bad. But look at this, this gasket. You know, it's probably 35 years old or whatever. And you can see here where there's burning around this area of the gasket, indicating an exhaust leak. Over here, you see on this intake, this gasket area has loosened up, allowing a little bit of oil to run down. You're probably wondering why there's oil in the intake. That's very typical on these older high mileage diesel engines. So the obvious solution is to replace the gasket with a new one. And this gasket is a very thick, crushable gasket. So it's very important that it be torqued properly when you put it back on. Make sure all the surfaces are clean. If you have to get a Scotch-Brite wheel on a rotary tool and come in and clean this entire surface. But this right here, folks, is the most important thing right there. You're going to pull these old nuts off and you're going to be tempted to reuse the nut. This is a special alloy locking nut, okay? So do not reuse the nuts. You need to use new locking nuts when you replace the manifolds on these old diesel engines because if you don't, the nuts will back up due to heat expansion contraction by heavy vibration from these engines and you'll end up with a leaking gasket again in the not so distant future. So just a little reminder here, think about replacing this gasket. It doesn't get done very often. People don't know it's bad until you pull the manifolds off just like I did here. And if you're going to replace the gasket, make sure that you replace these locking nuts. I'll put a link below in the description of this video on where you can purchase the gasket and the nuts for the five-cylinder diesel engines.